I'm gonna model a penguin in Maya 2025. First thing I need is a reference. Here it is. We make it simpler. We say, we, well, we see a cuboid. So we create a cuboid. We go back to the photo, check it. Well, it has five parts, head, neck, shoulders, stomach, and legs. So we divide our cuboid into five parts. We check our photo again and say, well, the head is smaller. So we go back to Maya and make the head part smaller. Now let me give you a quick tip. You don't have to use your mouse to switch between Maya and your reference. Simply use Alt Tab. By doing this, you can simply switch between your two previous apps. We look at the photo, we say it has two wings. Let's create two wings for it. We use Alt Tab again and say, well, the wings are a little bit lower. We put it lower. I think you can see the problem. The problem is for every time I want to do the modeling, I have to click Alt Tab and switch to the photos. I wish there was a way to put the photo in the scene itself. Well, fortunately, there is a way. All you need to do is to click on create free image plane. Here it is. We can rotate it, move it, make it bigger and smaller. Now let's give it the photo. Click on attribute and you see this panel. Click on file icon and find your reference. There it is. We select it and open. Voila. Now we have our reference in our scene. We can do our modeling more efficient and better. Bingo. I mean, it's not exactly what I was aiming for, but it's better than nothing. Now let's do the animation. Like modeling, it's recommended to use a reference for your animation. In this case, I'm gonna use this. Now the big question is, how are we going to put this video in Maya? You need to use an image sequence. You might say, what the hell is an image sequence? It's nothing. It's just a video. Just every frame of that video was converted into one single photo. How are we going to make it? By using Google. Simply search for convert video to image sequence. You can click on any link that you find suitable. Upload your video and you can trim your video. Let's say we want it between five seconds to 15. Okay, a very important tip. We are going to use this image sequence as our reference. The quality doesn't matter in this case. So it's recommended to keep it as low as possible to avoid a heavy file to download. I think 320 is a good option and I leave this part unchanged and that's everything we need to do. Let's go. Click on download as a zip. And we, here we have a zip file. We extract it and we get our image sequences. This is an image sequence. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Each photo represents a frame of our video. Now let's use this video reference. Open your Maya and repeat everything we did for image reference. Create a image plane, click on file icon and select the first image sequence. You can make it bigger, put it wherever you like, but when you play, nothing happens. You need to enable this option to tell Maya you are using an image sequence. We enable this option and problem is solved. Just to make another problem. As you can see, it's going too fast. And the reason for that is the animation slider is going too fast. It's not going real time. How are we going to solve it? Simply right click, go to playback speed and select real time. And problem is solved. Now let me give you another golden tip. As you can see, our reference starts at frame 1 to 100. We want it to start at frame 50. 
How are we going to do it? Select it, go to attribute and give it negative 49 to frame offset. Since our video starts at frame 1, when it receives negative 49 offset, it will be started at frame 50. Simple math. Look. And if we give it negative 99, our reference starts at frame 100. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.